Muslim viewers, welcome to Showbiz Movement. As you all know, this is the show that brings you all your information when it comes to partying or artists or DJs and everything closer to you. I'm your host, Mubo Ture. Today with me, I have a special guest. He's been in, those, in the industry for a while and he's a DJ and he's done it in Africa and he's done it in England. And today he's here on a special mission to discuss about a newly renovated club that is going to be hosting week after week. So that's no one but DJ Ice in the building. Hey, DJ hey, Ice. Hey, <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, man. Welcome to Showbiz Movement, man. It's my honor for me to have you today at the studio, you know? Yeah. So how you been? How's, how's, how's the weather treating you right yeah, now? Yeah, the weather's too Nice. Yeah, if you keep looking at me, you just like wearing nothing. You know? <laughs> yeah, so welcome to my studio today, you know? Thank you for having me. Yeah, DJ Ice. So, um, just a quick one, Ice. Because before, before we go to the main part of the program, I'm gonna just ask you a little bit about your DJ, you know. Mm. So, and uh, you're a legend in the industry. So, I wanna just wanna wanted to bring like um just a quick thing. How the DJ industry have changed now and back in the days and what, when you started DJing? Oh, when I started DJing, I mean the industry is 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 open. It's very um easy to get into a lot of stuff, but now. What happened is the changes, um, the whole technology and the laptops, it make it so easy for DJs to call it the DJs. You understand? And then, no, that's that's the truth. <laughs> that's understand? weird. That's, 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 weird. The, that's what is changing on the industry. Because yeah. the computer is making you do more than we used to learn to do those things. Okay. You Sweet. understand? Yeah. So it's just easy. I use the computer. And because I learned to do those things, so it makes it so easy for me. Yeah. You understand? And sometimes some of the DJs they lose their skills because of the Serato and all those computer skills they were given. They look they lose their natural skills. Okay, that's well, the difference. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. So in, in that case, because um a lot of a lot of DJ a lot of big DJs come, especially when it comes to the Afrobeat and the, um, the London UK the African base um UK um, um, art DJs, they like um, they get to understand that a lot of things is happening when it comes to the DJ. Artists complain about DJ not playing their song in club, and DJs complain artists not giving them the instruments to play. Basically, I thought it was just civil. I didn't know that this same thing is going on all over with, with Africa as a whole. No, no, it's it's going on all over the <laughs> yeah, the because world. I was discussing that um, I had um, um, a big congregation of DJs with me here from Sierra yeah. and the artist. Um, it was it was a very intense show anyway because they're talking about DJs not playing their instruments in as much as that DJs they're complaining as well. The artists they're not giving them more into instruments to play. So I get to realize that it's not just when I start doing this show. I get to realize that it's not just the Sierra Leone community. It's mm -hmm. something that is is all over um, Africa, not even West Africa, all over Africa. Mm -hmm. So you as a DJ, how you coping with that pressure from from them artists that approach you for you to play their song? Because you played in one of all the top top clubs in South London. Mm -hmm. So I, how you cope with them kind of approach if a, if an artist approach you, you not playing their song? Um, it's not that we're not playing the song. You see. When it comes, sometimes you can help as much of artists, try to help them to push their songs, right? But you cannot help everybody, you understand? And they, some of the artists have to remember that you're also doing a job. You have to make people happy. People come to the club, some of them are sad, miserable, some of them are going through depression and stuff. They come to you, you are like a driver, you understand? You have to make them happy. So it's not all the time you can throw a new song to them. They don't want to know, but you have to find a way to balance it. You understand? Same way you making them happy, forget about the misery, forget about their stress, forget about all the tension they had before. Yeah. That's why they came now. They came out to have fun. You understand? So you had to balance it. So sometimes some of those artists, they tag DJs that, oh, you don't even play my song in the club. It's not that. I put a lot of new song on my Mercedes. You understand? Yeah. And people will like, I can tell you from New York, I got artists from New York, so Afrobeat artists, hip hop artists, name it, Sweden, name it, and all over the world. And they send me music every day, my inbox. You understand? Yeah. But what I do, I help you on my mixtapes. I throw some for them on the mixtapes. So oh, when people listen to the mixtape, they're like, oh, who's this? You understand? And then you also get people to hear your music. But it's not like you have to pressure a DJ to play your song. You know, because when you're in the club, basically when you're in the club, 
most of the people now they come, the morning to year, the tracks, the new tracks that people is banging. They don't want to hear any track that is coming out now. Like before, you can just play, you can introduce, oh, this artist is coming out, this track is going to be big, yeah. and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and sometimes now they'll tell you, oh, we don't care about new actors. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, so you have to, they have to have patience with the DJs as well, not just me, with all the DJs. It's not because they do it intentionally, but it's like pressure also on them. They have to make those people happy. Uh, that's that's kind of good because um as a DJ I know I understand a part of the pressure you guys will be facing when it comes to music that is on and music that is not. Imagine the crowd is bubbling, buzzing. Then you just bust up a new tune. Mm -hmm. You know the crowd will just stop because they don't know that tune. Yeah. So you as a DJ, how do you get to play them kind of song, new song that just come out that people don't know about, and 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 it's something that you need to introduce to the people. So how do you, how do you do how do you do that? Right. For a DJ, first before you're gonna play a new song, like it just came out and people doesn't know about it, you yourself have to sit down and listen to the music, listen to the lyrics of the music, you know, pay attention to the beat, right? So when you play, you can joke with the music, make fun with the music, let the people enjoy it because once you are enjoying it, making a fun of the music, the people look, they don't know it, but because you make it fun, they look at you and they will join you to have the fun. You understand? And then we, we go, you go and then they start to say, oh, that music you play, what is it called? Do you understand? <laughs> oh, I understand that, I understand that. Thank you very much for that. Mm. So let's go straight to the point now. Newly, you publish, um, you publish uh, um, 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 club, yeah. formerly known as um, Mystic. Mystic Club. Yeah. Now it's called Ruby Lounge. Yeah. It's called Ruby Lounge, so and you are the you are one of their main DJs there at the moment. Yeah. The moment. Yeah. So and and in fact, it's is a is an honor for me to have you discussing about exactly what people are expecting from the club right now. Yeah. And um, I think mainly you're here to talk about the club, what what and what you guys have changed. So it's been there for a long time, and yeah. people understand that. Yeah. So now um is a is a new name Ruby Lounge. Yeah. So so what. What is the different? What people are gonna? What different people are gonna expect from the former name and to this name now? What different does it make to, to people? What, how can we put people in place for them to know that it's not the same? Now it's different management. Everything has torn. So what do you guys put into the club to make it more different than the way it was before? Okay, from uh, Ruby, uh, Ruby Lunch now. What is happening? We try to bring classic, sexy back to the south. You understand? Um, say that is, again. Say that again. Say that part again. <laughs> I want to hear that part. We try to bring a classic sexy back to the South because South is missing those things. You understand? We have values, but we don't have those classic and sexy values that when you come, you feel like you're in a real lunch or club or that kind of vibe moment. You understand? It just so open. Every club you go in the South, it just open. You just pay. And you know they don't even try to respect the tables. So what we try to do, we try to bring those kind of classic, like the city classic, back to the south. You understand? It's because south is nice. South is classic. Yeah. The south is big. Yeah. So we have to make it big our own self. Oh my you understand? <laughs> so if we don't do it, who's gonna do it for us? You understand? So that's the whole idea about the ruby lunch. We try to bring the classic back. Um, mistake? Yes, it was nice. It was. It was. It was beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But we topping up, you know, like you having um um let's say a champagne, and you have a this nice glass, and they put cherry or yeah. something on top of it to make it look Most sexy and sweet. So, so yeah, when you go dinner, this person like, oh, it's boiling, <laughs> but it's the same price. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. That's how we 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 selling it now. So we change the whole venue, you know, put new seats in there, you know, try to make it more very classy for. The South people to enjoy yourself. You understand? So when you come out now, please don't wear your floppies no more because <laughs> we may we try to make it classic for you. So don't spoil it. Okay, oh, thank you very much, viewers. As you're watching, uh, the newly renovated um, Club Mystic now called Ruby Lounge. Um, you heard the uh, DJ Ice just said it's now we, we bring it back sexy back in South because um, South has been doing it for years now, the club go down and now it's back on the, a new management wherein the sexiness is back in south. So 
if you bring back the sexiness in South, we too, we appreciate that because we're South Londoners, Londoners, you understand? So now, what kind of um, music-wise, it was good, your, your hosting DJ, mm. so music-wise, what people are going to be expecting, because you talk about the, the, the innovation, I'm going to come to the innovation in a minute. Let's talk about the music-wise now. What people are going to be expect that is more different, what type of DJ, apart from you, what type of DJ you guys put in place to bring this Friday, Saturday, Sunday back to live in South? Okay, what we try to do, as you know, Afrobeat is a mainstream. And we know he's going to put all our basket, um, all our distinct energy into one basket of staying with the Afrobeat. You understand? We twisted it. You know, when you come there, you're going to hear soca, you hear reggae, you hear dance. So, you know, we twisted it. We, we, I mean, we we put it in a, in a nice box that when you come out, you just go in the box. It's going to be difficult for you to come out of the box. Do you understand? Yeah. We put you in that box that when you come out, it's not just the club or the venue. How nice is the venue? You understand? We're going to give you some nice vibes that you're going to enjoy. You should have been there this Saturday. You can see everybody will like, wow, you know, this is what we're missing. You know? And people have fun. You understand? And we're not even going to try to stick with um, just West African music. You understand? And this is what sometimes is missing. The Africa is big. You know, we are Sierra Leone, we have Uganda, Lots. we have South Africa, and it's, it's like North. everywhere you go, majority of the music is playing is West, West Africa, West Africa, West Africa. And we try to change, we try to pull all the Africa in one basket. Everybody can come and have fun. You understand what I'm saying? Come, Sierra Leone, South Africa, everybody come. Because we're going to, trust me, if I don't play your music, give me titles. Next time I'll play for you. I definitely, I'm gonna give you some serial new titles, music that you play. Definitely, I want you to play them. <laughs> I bet you I got them already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, DJ, I thank you because um, you see the thing I'm I'm talking about um club 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 that club used to be one of the best clubs in South London. I mean, it's people, still the best. People now um we try to we back you you guys are back with the best. It's kind of bring it back to the best, and I believe it's still the best anyway. Still so. Best. It's just that the new management coming, they want to make it more, better, much, better, more better than, than before, than before mm. which is good because at the end of the day, it's our local as well. So now, um, you talk about music, um, you talk about DJing, and you talk about now what, what like um, change inside the club? What do you guys, what do you guys change? What do you guys fix to make the club more comfortable for, for um? Guys coming back there, ladies coming back there, and they feel that sexiness in them. So, what do you guys change inside the club? See, when you when you come to the club, you can see um, we scrape all the the old um, chairs, the VIPs, and everything, and we'll put better seat. You understand? We'll put kings and queens seat in the venue. You understand? So, even when you come in the club and you book your table, and then you sit down, you don't sit down like you are home. You sit down like you're a princess, you're a queen. You know, you're a king. You relax. You understand? So those are the things, and it's going to get better. You understand what I'm saying? We get more things that come in. You know? Everything's going to be changed. Floor's going to, it's already changed. So, you know, it's going to be crazy in South. You know, South is going to come back to South. Because I remember back in the days, everybody come to South to rave. Yeah, it's true. You understand? When we join parties in Ezekiel, State 3, Lemmings. You understand? South was the, the place everybody came in party. Yeah, that's true. You know? But we're missing that because now people try to go as well and party somewhere and leave the South. You understand? So we try to bring that back. Bring all the sexy back again, South. Wow. So um, by bringing all these things together, I believe the sexiness will come back in South London, which is, which is quite good. For networking as well. Yeah. So um, now we we talking about now the day. When is this? When is the official launching of this Ruby Lounge? Uh, it's gonna be this Friday. Wow. It's gonna be this Friday, and now uh, we're all looking forward to this Friday. I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, I'm I, I'm literally can't wait to Friday to come. <laughs> so what you guys put in place for the for the same morning for the opening of the new club? What you guys put in place for views and media? So what what people like what people are gonna be expecting on Friday? Um, you're gonna expect a lot. They're gonna expect a lot because we're gonna have a red carpet. You know, we're gonna have a a free green reception at the door. 
You understand? So you, you guys have to come early because you're going to have a free drink, a little package of maybe, we don't know, you might throw some, uh, what do you call it, uh, cassava lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So we're gonna have a little bit like snacks and free drink for welcome you between the early hours of opening of the door and from eleven to one you're gonna have so you come early to come and experience the opening Doing on Friday. Day. It's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Night. So um with no time to waste, be that you're here because um we just talk about how the club is being transformed. So viewers watching that now, we're going to play um, a little video about the new club that we're trying to advertise in today on Showbiz Movement, um, which is Club Ruby Lounge, commonly known as Angie Mystic. Now it's called Ruby Lounge. So, so viewers at home, this is a video that we just picked up about the newly renovated Club Ruby Lounge. Can we play that video, please, for viewers to watch it now, please? Thank you. So um, while we're waiting to play the video, because um, sometimes people get to understand that that club is gone, people in people's head, but they don't know what you really, really have done, the transformation you have done towards it. So that's why it's better for us to get the video for them to see exactly what you guys, what you are talking about. Yeah. So, <coughs> so with that case, watching this video now, is gonna match to what you just talk about. Yeah. So, what do you think? Do you think that will change people's mind still? Um, it's already changed people's mind. It's already make people comfortable. You have to be there Saturday is gone. It's like we we have some of the old people came back, you know, to just come in to have fun because I personally invite some of them. And when they came, they were like, "Well, we come. This is our home. We're coming back." <laughs> do you understand? So you got them back on track. Yes, they are back on track. The club is not, it's not gone. You understand? The only thing about is we in the south, we put things down. You know, people should not get it twisted. We like to put things down. And like, this is a place that you go and enjoy. Why did you have to wear floppies and all those things to go in the club? Dress like you're going to the western. Because that's what we bring to you. You know? We'll bring you something like when you go to the city to go and party. We'll bring you back to the south. You don't need to go to the city to go and party. Come to dress exactly the same when they come to the south and party just like you're in the city. And this is what we try to bring to you. You understand? So make an effort. If you kill something in your in your hood or your manner, you're killing it for your own self, not for the, the people. If you make effort to dress nice and come out, in your whole hood, people outside will dress better to come out as well. It's true. And then when you don't make effort and the clubs go down, you say the club is done. No, you are the people that do those things. You're right. So, so we're just saying whatever you're doing, um, your area, you have to create um, example, example in your area, so yeah. people can come see you wearing dress. Yeah. And when they're coming from far, they'll think ah. I'm in mean, a place where I'm meant to be, anyway, yeah. because everybody look dressed and really look proper, like a clubbing. That's what you're trying to say. To That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, now um, before we drop the video, let's go to guests. Like, what what kind of is it? Is it like an open invitation, or you guys just invite certain people for that just for Friday night, and then is it a normal clubbing night, or is just an opening ceremony? People should come and enjoy themselves. It's an uh, open ceremony, but at the same time, we invite special guests as well. You know. That doesn't mean because we invite special guests. Our people that show us the love and supporting us, we have to leave them behind. You understand? We want them, all everybody to be part of it. You know, so we can launch it properly. It's a regular first the first night. It's a red, red carpet event. It's gonna be a red carpet event. Wow. So um are we expecting any big artist or um... it's a surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise. It will be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, the, the next question I want to ask you regarding um, Ruby Lounge, regarding, because now we understand that there is a lot of competition, not like before. Mm -hmm. You got clubs like Pier One, you got clubs like um, LA Lounge, mm -hmm. again, back on track, you got clubs like um, um, Red Kings Bull, mm -hmm. Barking. You know, now it's different. So, what, 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 what makes, what, what can you bring to the table? 
to get these people because we're talking about South, South, South. We all did. You don't need to say it no more. We all did bring it to the table. Okay. You understand? As yeah. I said to you from the beginning, yeah. we all did bring it back the sexiness. You don't need to go to cross the river and go, and when club finish your tire, you still have to drive all the way back. I'm telling you, it's going to be different. You're going to have fun. When you come there, you're going to be warm welcome. That's how we make it so comfortable for you in the South. You understand? <laughs> to feel the welcome, the warm welcome, then you don't have to, once in a while, yes, we understand you have to cross the river. We understand. But trust me, when you come to experience the love we put it in there for you, you understand? If you want to cross the river, it's up to you. But you, you're going to have something to think about for you to cross the river. Trust me. Wow. <laughs> Man, I love this interview. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of made me excited right now, you know. So um, can we drop the video? If we can we drop the video, please. Um, about Club Newly Renovated Club Mystic Club Lounge, formerly known as Club Mystic. Please, can we drop the video so viewers can watch the video, please? South people, and not just only South people, everybody, East, West, North, everybody's welcome, you know, it's, right, it's about a time that we have something very nice in the South, very proper in the South, you know what I mean, you know, there's a nice places around as well, but we try to put it back, special, on the same road that we used to enjoy ourselves, our local, you understand, we had to give them something for them to you know, feel good. Okay, that's good. That's a good one, though. To be honest with you. Well, but now, um, before we go, um, I want you to give um, viewers, um, fans, what you right now. Quick message regarding mm -hmm. Friday. Yeah. So, um, on what they're expecting and what time they should be coming and what's in the package for them. Now we even we we even forget to mention something that we meant to relate to birthdays, like 
someone got back days, what package you guys provide for them regarding back days and everything? They want to come and celebrate back days with you guys. Okay, on the birthday packages, we have, um, especially on Fridays, if you're celebrating your birthday on Fridays, you have more on the package. Because Friday, if you have, you come with five guests, it's your birthday, you book it, and you have five guests with us. We give you a free bottle, right? You plus one of your your friends as a guest on our house, you know, you know what I mean? And if you bring 10, it goes up. So we have different, different packages. And actually Fridays or so, we're going to be doing uh, happy hours. You understand for the ladies, not just ladies, but happy hour happy for hour everybody, for everybody yeah. from 11 to 1 o'clock. You know, we're gonna throw some shots like maybe four or six shots for like 10 pounds cheap. You understand? Yeah. Let's get you started. You know, there's there's so many things we're gonna throw, but in the meantime, we're not gonna even talk about that now. We're yeah. gonna finish the lunch, and it's gonna be so many for, for us to give away. We're not just there. Just for you to party, we give you something as well. Something that you're gonna give away for you to enjoy yourself. Because you come to us for us to take your misery out, take your stress out, you know? Let you forget about your boyfriend what he did or your girlfriend what he did to you. You know, all those packages we just there, that's what we're there for. You understand what I'm saying? So we're gonna throw a lot of things in there. On Friday, it's gonna be ladies free before one o'clock. Alright? Um we're gonna have a free uh, champagne at the reception at the door between 11 and 1. You understand? That for everybody is not just ladies. Yeah. So when you're coming, you're gonna have a, a drink at the door. As I said, we can have a little bit of um, snacks or whatever at the door. We have some snack, free drink, you know, and we can throw so, so many things in there. But it's gonna be a lot of surprises. Included those kind of gifts we giving it away. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's open. You don't have to have like be special or having a special invitation for you to come. You understand? It's open to everybody. We have a special guest. We have to, you know, they they have to be proper invite. But yeah. I'm properly inviting you, you and your friends. So tell, tell your friends and tell your friends and tell your friends <laughs> and tell the other friend. Tell your neighbor. And let your liver taste liver on and Friday. On Friday. It's going to be crazy. Okay, viewers at home watching, thank you very much. Um, on this Friday, it's going to be live at Club Ruby Lounge, Kumbale known as Andrew Mystic. Um, you guys call it KFC. They're going to be opening their new brand club on Friday. As you had, as you hear DJ Q say it first year, you're all invited. Come and drink and enjoy. Um, there is big food and drink and everything. Upon your appearance, you got champagne as well. It's going to be a red carpet interview as well there. So, um, AUT TV is going to be there as well to cover the event for you. So, please make it a day to come this Friday live in Club Mystic. Um, um, in Angie, Angie, um, yeah, yeah, Ruby, 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 Ruby Lounge, Lounge AKA, Ruby Lounge, AKA Mystic. former Mystic. Mystic yeah. okay. uh, thank you very much. Actually, um, we just did a funeral. <laughs> okay, there are a few events going on that same Friday. We've got <laughs> one of CLU finest artists as well. We'll be in Club Nollywood on that same Friday. So he will be here for an interview very soon. Famous so soon. Don't go. Um DJ Ice, before we go, you have a message, any message to give to your fans out there? Oh, I just want to say I love all of you, man. Keep supporting. Okay, you thank, understand? Uh, thank you very much for watching this short program i'm going to be back with famous here live on negative tv discussing about his, his uk journey and his show is going to be happen friday friday or this friday in club Nollywood as well so for me and my beautiful guest here we're going to say bye for now see you later don't go don't touch that air. bye peace Don't go in, you sell it for them. This is, this is, this is my job, bro. <laughs>